Wildlife and natural history photography has always been important to me to help educate people as to some of the changes that are taking place in our natural world. It's these special things that not everybody gets a chance to see. We're in Lake Clark National Park. It's a very remote location. There are no roads in here. The only way to get here is by bush plane or boat. Our pilot noticed quickly that we didn't have a lot of gear. The great big monster lenses that I used to use are gone. We're shooting smaller cameras, smaller lenses, and getting even higher quality than we used to do with our traditional DSLRs. One of the things that's so important when you're working around wild animals is to make sure that you give them their space. It's super important to be back and use telephotos and keep your distance. I'm using the, the GH5 with a 12 to 60 millimeter and a GH5 with a 100 to 400. What's so unique and the reason I come here to Alaska to photograph them is because they're what I call fat and happy bears. They're not stressed for food for the most part. They're still, you know, they're still wild animals and you have to travel with a group of people when I first started out as a photographer, I was 15 or 16 years old. I had read that you were supposed to use a tripod, but I thought, how can you be a wildlife photographer and tromp around in the woods and try to find animals with a tripod? So I shot for maybe six months to a year like that and had lots of camera shake and blur. It's, it's absolutely unheard of to shoot big, long telephoto lenses handheld on a platform that is constantly moving. Today was a perfect example of how the dual image stabilization through the lens and camera body worked to give us opportunities that we could have never done before. So now I almost never use a tripod and it's, it's like being a kid again. They are like little bullets, they're so fast. We did see a few puffins. They come diving into their dens. They're not graceful, they make hard landings and they're actually quite comical to watch. When they come flying by, you have to be so quick to get on them, focus with them, and stay on them, and get a sharp picture. You know, I still earn a good chunk of my living selling my pictures to magazines, so I want the best quality I can get. People want to see the detail in the fur. They want to see the eyes of the animal. I want to see these little gnats that are flying in front of us that are really bad this year. <laughs> This mom laid down, the cubs had come up to her and had made noises as if they wanted to nurse and she didn't want to nurse at the time, but I was pretty confident based on how they were acting that that was probably gonna happen. So have patience. Yeah, it's been a very successful trip and we've had a lot of fun. The new technology and the Panasonic cameras that I'm using, these cameras have hit what I feel is the sweet spot where the sensor size is big enough to give you incredibly impressive large prints, but doing it with less strain on my back, less strain on my wallet, and a lot more technology in these newer products that we didn't have with the traditional DSLRs. Panasonic.